Well folks, usually when I make an update on anything regarding Thunderbirds on this channel, it's always done with a very positive and light heart felt uh, aura, for lack of a better description, but sadly this is not the case today. It has come to my understanding today that Shane Rimmer, who for those that are young enough to remember, he was in quite a few uncredited roles in the James Bond movie series. He was an uncredited battle technician in Star Wars. And even was in the first three Superman movies. I didn't even know he was in the first one until I did a quick um, check on Wikipedia. But uh, most of us that grew up in the early 90s, in the rerun generation of Thunderbirds, will know that Shane Rimmer was the voice of Scott Tracy, the pilot of Thunderbird 1, the first response figure to any rescue situation that would then relay specific information, details about the rescue and what specific equipment would be necessary for Thunderbird 2 to bring to the rescue area. And I always enjoyed Shane's vocal performance as Scott. This was a character that would exude confidence, concern, but also be very assertive and, you know, be no nonsense and, you know, cut things down right in the middle and called it like he, like he saw it. He's basically like a younger version of his father, Jeff. The only thing I find when I look back at the series now is that um, Scott is a little bit um, softer handed when compared to his father. Now that's not to say that Scott's performance um, as a character was like to be that of a pushover. I think because he was younger, much younger than his father, he didn't have that sort of hardened mentality as Jeff did. But I'm getting off the point uh, with this. You know, whether you saw Thunderbirds as part of the original audience, or if you were part of the rerun generation in the 90s and the early 2000s, it's irrelevant. You know, Shane was always prominent in each episode of Thunderbirds to where listening to his vocal delivery, you, be you believed that he believed in this character. Because that was always the great thing about Scott. He would always make very quick informative decisions on what he believed was the best thing for the rescue and for international rescue to operate. And, you know, Shane just exuded so much energy with what he did. I mean, when you look back at the very first episode, Trapped in the Sky, and you hear the, the energy that's in his voice where he's commanding this much authority and direction with how he's directing the rescue operations and saying to London International Airport's tower, look, you don't have the facilities to actually to be able to save these people, but my organization does and we can do it within the time that's available. So what's it going to be? And that was, you know, you couldn't help but like this character. And funny little thing that I don't know if too many people know this. If you look back at Batman Begins and the last act of the movie, and they're in the water tower of the main hub of Wayne Enterprises, the senior operations technician was Shane Rimmer. And the only reason he got that role, to my understanding, is apparently he and uh, Christopher Nolan just happened to cross paths one time, and Chris Nolan is a huge fan of the original Thunderbirds, and I think either he recognized him uh, facially due to what he'd seen from, like, press photos in the past. I mean, I don't know the full story, but I know that he recognized him and said, wait, you're in Thun you were in Thunderbirds, weren't you? It's like, you know, do you want to be on the movie? And I didn't catch it first, first uh, viewing, but as time went on, excuse me, I'm just going to get my screen to come back on. Sorry, that's a, that's a major distraction. When, 
over time when I started you know listening to the voice something was starting to click and I'm like it's like Scott Tracy wow so for him to be in that movie and then realizing this years later me having a um, not so uh, clever moment but when I realized it was Shane where I was like oh wow looks like that's cool so um It's a shame he's no longer with us. I know he got involved in quite a few fan projects with Chris Thompson, which I'll leave a couple of links in the description so you can go and look at these at your leisure. Uh, I'll also leave the link from jerryanderson.co.uk, and this was actually posted by Jerry's son, Jamie. And, you know, you can just say what you feel. Um... You know, what your first memories of uh, of Shane Rimmer were, whether it was his live-action roles in the James Bond series or the Superman series, or, you know, because he did have a small um, guest appearance vocally on an episode of Joe 90 where he was like some sort of army commander. And I remember watching the episode and hearing, I'm like, wait a minute, what's Scott doing here? But... Yeah, um, I regret now not going to a convention in Norwich last year, which my brother, Random DCE, attended, and he actually got a signed photo of, of Shane, you know, a signed photo of Scott Tracy um, with Shane Rimmer's um, autograph on it, and... Um, I forget who said this, but I believe this is valid here. Regrets are for the things that we haven't done, rather than the things that we do, or something to that effect. I'm just I'm just paraphrasing, but the context is the only real regrets are for things that we haven't done. You know, things that you wanted to do in life. Whether you know whether they be positive or just trying to help somebody some, help someone out, or just to be able to go and have go and have time with this person, you know, just to sit down and help someone out. Um, so yeah, I do regret that because that would have been that would have been cool to meet him, and like I say, I. I regret not being able to do that. So, Shane, um, rest in peace. Thank you for everything that you gave. Whether it was an uncredited part in a in a movie, or for the hours and hours and hours that you put in as one of your more iconic roles as the leader of the Tracy Brothers in Thunderbirds. Um, you are going to be missed, sir. <sighs> Rest in peace, sir. Rest in peace.